Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called Thelma. This is a 2017 film. A little bit older, just a little bit. Does not come with a rating. Uh, it runs an hour and 56 minutes. It comes to us from Norway. It came in September of 2017. And this stars Eileen Harbo, Kaya Wilkins, Henrik Rafelsen. Again, Norwegian names. I tried. The description. A confused religious girl tries to deny her feelings for a female friend who is in love with her. This causes her suppressed, subconsciously controlled, psychokinetic powers to re-emerge with devastating results. This is Thelma. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, if you'd like any bonus content, you can check me out on Facebook. It's Danny's Movies and Music. And, and music. I don't know why I said that. Um, and uh, you can get some music videos on there of me. And uh, bonus content. Netflix movies that I don't review on YouTube. So uh, there's that. I uh, hope you all are doing well. It looks like theaters might be opening up soon. Yay! But I'm still watching older movies like this. And uh, even if it comes from another country, even if it's completely subtitles, which it is. And um, it's a unique idea. And I did not know that description uh, that I just read to you before I watched this movie. So I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Uh, I do research at the beginning of the month for new movies that I've never seen before. And this came up on my list and I watched it yesterday. So um, first thing we got to talk about is subtitles. Um, I don't know why. But I honestly was not able to keep up with the subtitles in this movie. So I didn't always know what was going on. I didn't always, I wasn't always able to look up and see somebody's face and see their reaction and, and then look back down and get the whole subtitle sentence. It just went fast. And so a lot of this stuff went unexplained. A lot of stuff I didn't get somebody's reaction because I was having to read so fast. And so that was you know, benefit to the movie for being able to go that fast and have someone do the subtitles that fast, but um, they need some more direction in that department if they're going to make other movies because it needs to be able to give us time to read and then get the reaction of the people on screen. It needs to have that time. So this does have a pretty high grade online. Uh, has like 25,000 people that have graded it on online. So I'm guessing that's mostly people from Europe. Um, I don't know when it was released over here in the USA, but um, I would not give it as high of a grade as it is on there. Maybe a little bit lower. But uh, I just have a trouble with subtitle movies, even if it is as interesting as this one is. Because, honestly, this goes really slow for about the first hour, and then we have something happen, and then it goes almost slower after that because they feel like they've done something. And then they feel like the things that happen after that are, like, supposed to impress you somehow, but they don't explain anything. So, that's... Uh, the other point of this is that it's very, very strange movie. I can understand people enjoying this and thinking that it's good, but I was mostly just confused. I wasn't freaked out. I wasn't disgusted. I was just confused. Um, obviously, we have a movie about a girl fighting her identity and that's a really real subject. That's a good good material to put in your movie. But then for it to turn into what it turns into and try to explain it scientifically with that description online and the stuff that happens in this movie, um, I, I'm not buying it. You know, this doesn't happen hardly ever in real life. I really doubt it's a real thing. 
um, some people could really, really try to make sense of this movie. But I just don't think I am ever going to be one of those people. Um, halfway through this movie, about an hour into this movie, they have a wow moment that makes me think that the whole movie is going to be explained by this one scene that we're going to invest in the idea that this is supernatural, that anything can happen, and something that like this that happened, they say was real, based in real life, was going to be non-explainable. So I was ready for that. But then after that, they try to explain it with science. And I'm like, dang it. Just decide if what way you're going. Because they go up and then they go down. They have something supernatural happen. They have some dream sequence happen. And then they'll base it in reality and say it was a dream or something. And I'm like, okay, what are we doing here? So I'm not with the rest of the world that likes this movie. And is just going to accept how well done it is and everything. You need to make sense in your movie. You need to decide which direction you're going, supernatural or science. Not go back and forth, not have something happen supernatural and then something happen that's science-based. It doesn't work that way. So that's my big problem with this movie and why I'm going to give Thelma a C-. It's this close from being one of the worst movies I've seen this year, but I enjoyed myself enough and enough cool stuff happened to keep me intrigued the whole movie. But I'm just advising you to make more sense and decide which way you want your movie to go. You cannot go back and forth. Okay? A C- minus for Thelma. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy movies. Thanks.